So, I'm hearing that the Niners actually um, had Eric Armstead restructure the contract. So, the Niners are going to have over $41.5 in cap space. They can either extend Brennan Ayuk or upload the contract to Nick Bosa. Or they can make a trade on the trade deadline to get a certain player that can make a difference like last year with McCaffrey. Or... They can roll over the cap space, and it wouldn't affect us in 2024. We would be in good shape. So either way, I think the Niners are trying financially to stay in very good shape because they had George Kittle, they had Trent Williams restructure their contracts, and Eric Armstead has restructured his contract. So it's really going to free up the cap space more. So we got the most cap space, but as of right now, Financially, I think this is an all-in year. We got to go all in. You got to drop your, you got to cash those chips and say, "Hey, I'm going all in this year." So the Niners are going all in, and long-term financially, it may not be long-term, but we're trying to go all in to win a Super Bowl this year. So this is the year where we finally make a statement. Last year, we only made the McCaffrey trade. Now we're gonna probably make some good moves. I have a great guess. We might acquire a player like Chandler Jones who doesn't want to be with the Raiders or Brian Burns who hasn't got a contract with Carolina. And there's a good possibility we can make that blockbuster trade happen. Or there can be an offensive lineman that might be available and we might be able to acquire him. And maybe if we're not so with McKivitz, we can get that guy to step in and play right away. Or extend Brandon Ayuk's contract for the foreseeable future. Or... Uh, or just wait, roll over the cast space for next year. Either way, the Niners ain't going to struggle for this situation. But that's pretty much your update. You know, that's a good sign. We're looking to keep this team competitive for a while. So let me know what y'all think, Faithful. It's interesting.